by Harry Smith, hashtag make your fringe. From 1947, a celebration of the arts in Edinburgh, Scotland has hosted many shows, ranging from theatre, comedy, that put me off, uh, cabaret and variety, and much more. Done through the three weeks of August, people from all over the world gathered to celebrate the arts, bring in the top range of energy and joy. Next slide. Please watch the video at the 16 second channel. The Edinburgh Festival Fringe is one of the greatest celebrations of arts and culture on the planet. It's open to anyone with a story to tell and a venue to get to. Our vision is simple, to give anyone a stage and everyone a seat. Thanks, Simon. Thanks, Simon. Thanks, Simon. So in 2023, around 2.4 million tickets were sold with over 25,000 creative artists participating in the this event. Over 180 countries are proudly represented each year through very different cultures and varieties showing their creativeness. Typically over 3,000 shows are performed in the duration of the three weeks, so if you wanted to watch every single show, it would take you at least 20 weeks to watch every single one. Mm. So it was hosted by the Fringe Society, which was established in 1958. The society keeps the Fringe's values of inclusivity, creativity and imagination. And you can join on the website. They, the society is completely free. Um, yeah, and you can donate to the charity. To make the experience more enjoyable, the Fringe Society managed to extend drinking hours. Next slide, Shannon. Tips when visiting. Loud and large performances are normally performed at the end of the day from 8pm. St James's Mall is a place to find a quieter setting with buskers and small performances. Between George Square and Beecher Square is a place to get good food, drink and range in from different cultures to try. For people who feel overwhelmed, Fringe also offers a sensory pack, backpack thing. And you get headphones, you get toy, like all, like all the stuff that can make everyone's experience more enjoyable. Registration opens on January 8th with shows revealed in batches, so you'll have different sets out through all different months. And the latest, the last batch will be on the 12th of June, so every show will be revealed by then. Nice Planning your fringe. Depending on the day of arrival, it's ideally best to go on train or bus, as car parks and streets will be busy. Don't travel by car. Accommodation is provided with the partnered app Stay 22, providing an interactive map of accommodation. Shannon, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> Every attraction is quite local, so get around on foot would be the best option. Cycling is popular in Edinburgh, I don't know why, because there's so many hills. Um, best to walk, that's the disclaimer as well, the hills. Oh. In contact for the NHS, it's best to call NHS 24 on 111 to talk to a healthcare professional due to a high amount of population during, during, the, during the period. Police will patrol around the city ensuring safety on everyone who attends. Advice is given to plan your travel before attending. Only take what you need. Beware of pickpockets. I love pickpockets. <laughs> Stay alert and respect residents and other festival goers. Next slide, Charlie. How this helps. Shows are usually lasting around an hour to build the duration of the festival. This shows time management to keep your audience entertained. Ooh. Attraction is a priority as people pay to see what this show is interested in, making it more appealing. So we need to like bring in what we so we need to show everyone that wants to attend why they should attend. We need to inspire them. Next slide, Shannon. For more information, Edinburgh Fringe Festival website, the Ed Fringe app, or YouTube videos. Next slide, Shani. Cheers, hands, play the video. One. I've got a question for you, don't stop it, please. Okay. Um, how is this information and research on Edinburgh Festival helping with our understanding of the play or anything like that? Um, so with time management, um, so with typical performances, people would want to go for a show that's not too long but not too short, like they want to get their money's worth, yeah. but they also want to be entertained for a normal amount so they're not too bored or might feel like they've wasted their money. And with what I was saying before, Shannon, go back a bit. 
That's it. Attraction is priority. This is what I'm trying to understand. So with that, you want to make sure that what you're selling is for people's attention and what they want to see. So then they feel more like, because there is over 3,500 shows, you've got to make your performance the best to make it more appealing. Right. So then you sell out your show better than everyone else's. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.